This makes my Norwegian heart very happy. Yeah. Over the next three days, we're going to be staying here at Citadines Salcedo Makati. Yes, and it's right in the heart of Metro Manila. Wow, look oh. at that! It's also one That's of uh, so cool. my favorite photos of us. Yeah. Hot, please. Hot. Yeah. Wow, beautiful machine you have. <laughs> this makes my Norwegian heart very happy. <laughs> yes. Here's the coffee. Thank you. Thank you. It's wow. Brandy. Wonderful. For the love of <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow, Ava, cheers! <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for check in. I'm so excited to see this. Wow, wow. thank you. Nice. Look at that. Wow, look oh. at that. It's also one That's of so uh, cool. my favorite photos of us. Welcome it's home. Also, one of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You guys look so cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, this is a beautiful apartment. Wow. Alright guys, we're gonna get settled and we'll give you the full tour. Yeah! Hello! Hey. We're back in Thrilla, Manila, Manila. I keep coming back to Manila. <laughs> guys, welcome back to a new video blog here on the YouTube channel. Today, over the next three days, we're gonna be staying here at Citadines Salcedo, Makati. Yes, and it's right in the heart of Metro Manila. We are very excited guys. So upon checking here, we were offered coffee. Never had that happen to me ever before. Very friendly, taking us right up to the apartment, which we are currently at. Oh, they even made an iced coffee for Ava, and I got the flat white. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This is super nice. We're just coming off at two months with really hard work. We had our wedding happen, which if you haven't seen the video yet, check it out. And we also just came back from the islands. So now we're back in Manila and they invited us for a three night staycation. In this video, we're gonna be showing you what it's like to be living in the heart of Makati, what this place is like, and I think it will be a lot of fun. So let's go. Let's do it. Everyone, we are now gonna go out and explore the surrounding areas. We have some things we need to shop. We're also gonna show you what it looks like outside of the hotel. So here in Makati, you usually see these different signs and they will tell you how long it is to walk to some of the major landmarks here. We have now been walking through Makati, which is the business district here in Metro Manila. It's uh, a different vibe here than some of the other larger metropolitan areas. And now we are entering Greenbelt, which is a very large shopping center. All right, we are now in Glorieta 4, doing one of our favorite lunches. Sushi! Yeah. Ave is getting the Wagyu beef boat and I'm having an oh my god. Okay, we are now at Ruston supermarket shopping in some uh, last minute ingredients, some good wine for our stay. Ave is planning to cook a couple meals. We do have breakfast included. But since we have a fully equipped kitchen, then why not make sure we had some really good dining experiences. Yeah! 
Whoa, guys. Abe, what's happening? They have a bunch of koozie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so they go to the jacuzzi. It's actually, I think, my first time in a jacuzzi in the Philippines. Hmm? It is, right? Have we ever been in a jacuzzi before? I don't remember. Uh, oh, maybe, okay, like on, yeah, we have, but not like that. Okay, let's check out the pool area. I love. Mm hmm. Pretty cool, no? Wow, look at that. On the ninth floor, there's even towels. And if you have a baby, <laughs> family friendly resort. Super cool in the middle of Makati. And then over here is the jacuzzi. And it's 35.5 degrees. <laughs> Epic. What do you think, Ava? Norway. Yeah. Feels like the cabin, but yeah. there's no snow. Yeah. This is so amazing. Such a nice area. You want to swim in there? Let's try it. I think it's cold now, but let's try it. Oh my god. It's like ice bath. coming to sit at the Salcedo. So nice, man. Yeah, no. Oh no! It's our queue. They're closing. So it's open um, only until 10 p.m., which is still pretty good. So I think that's it for today, guys. We're gonna head up. See you tomorrow morning for that breakfast. Yeah! Okay, guys, it's breakfast time. And the breakfast is kept in Manifesto which is the restaurant of this hotel. Ooh, let's check. Festo. It's not a buffet breakfast, but it's an order in. It's have a very diverse menu that you can order from. And this place is really known for its uh, delicious coffee. So when you're here, make sure to try one of their coffees. We have a big day ahead of us today. We have some Christmas shopping to do. And we're also going to be going to the gym together. We're very excited for that. You guys, so here's our different uh, cultural breakfasts. Ave is having the Filipino one. I'm having a more Western one on bread, avocado toast. But they have something for both of us. <laughs> Kain na bin. Okay guys, so when you're visiting Citadines here in Salcedo, Makati, you have to visit a couple of coffee shops. So if you remember upon check-in, they were offering us any type of coffee we would like. They also have these in the rooms, which kind of tell you which of the top five coffee shops in the area that they recommend. We've already done number one, Manifesto, which is where we had breakfast this morning. And now we're gonna try another one. I think we're gonna just go to number two on the list and we're gonna try Habitual Coffee, Salcedo. They also say, I need to try the Iced Sea Salt Latte Caramel. Not a bad, I mean, that's not a problem for me because I love sea salt lattes. So let's head out, it's a beautiful day. Oh yeah, so we notice across the street there's always a line on the chicken store. Oh, today is a nice day! Compared to yesterday it was raining. Yes, the sun is out. And the air is fresh. What a fresh day, yo. Fresh bar. Fresh bar. Alright, so we walked two blocks to get to this coffee shop. Not a far walk. And I just wanted to like point out, look at this. Makate is a nice place. It kind of reminds me of Honolulu in a lot of ways for those who have been there. Like this building, 
could definitely be in Honolulu. There it is. First job is within the area here in Makati. So this one is a very popular stalls because the prices are affordable for lunch meals. Mmm, love it. There's a lot of offices here, so it's a budget-friendly meal. But it's also not to mention it's good. Maybe we should eat there. <laughs> Speaking of food, my favorite ramen place is nearby, so I think that's where we're heading. Let's go. What do you think of the coffee? Good. Not bad. Dangerously good. Mm -hmm. But I can't drink coffee. Yeah, Ava gets palpitation. Is that what it's called? Palpitation and acid. Acid reflux. reflux. Yeah, yeah, when she drinks too much coffee. However, the Norwegian, on the other hand. I'm jealous because it's so good. That's no. my type of coffee. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's cold. So here in the Philippines, it's like always 28 degrees. <laughs> it feels like. So having a cold coffee is a must. And this is one of the other coffee shops called Single Origin that's recommended by a hotel. Okay, side note, Google Maps can't be trusted, so it wasn't where I thought it was. It was on the other street. And we found it. Hopefully there's available seats. It's always a line there. Always a line. Hey guys, we are number 11 in line for the Mendecoro Makati branch. And as we're waiting... Yeah, please. We are taking our orders to save a little bit of time. This is Ava's sister's favorite place. Oh, yeah. But we didn't bring her. Sorry, Rain. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, we're now seated at Mendecoro. It didn't take that long to wait, maybe like 15 minutes. We're serving one dish at a time. And the way this uh, restaurant is made is that the kitchen is in the center and then everybody's eating around it. Every time someone enters the restaurant, everybody says hi. Welcome. Okay. It's <laughs> a good thing you said, because I would have done that. And this is what my shio ramen looks like. You have a spoon so you can uh, use and get the sauce, but then mostly we eat using sticks. Shopping here in Glorieta. We just bought a gift for Ava's father. So that's one down. Now we just have ten more uh, to go. Ten more to go. <laughs> so much to look at, man. These malls are huge. Check this out. <laughs> All right, we are now in a place called Landmark. This is where they have like everything that an Ikea has. It's called Landmark and we're looking for gifts for the closest relatives. Find some wine glasses for Ava's best friend. I don't know with you, but the older I get, the less Christmas spirit I have. When I was a child, I was like, first of December, I was like, oh my God, Christmas is happening. Now it's like December 20th. Now and I'm... it's which no one's spending. <laughs> I guess. And I'm barely feeling the Christmas spirit. When you are a kid, you, you just... Uh, receiving, the receiving the gifts. Yeah. yeah! That was a successful day of shopping. We took care of all the Christmas gifts, so now it's time for us to enjoy. Back here at Citadi! Sydney Hello! Goya. Hello! <laughs> Such a nice lobby. Uh, and I'm gonna run to the gym. Okay, been resting a little bit and it's time to check out the gym. So this gym here is very well equipped. It seems to have everything that I'm gonna need today. It's open from 6 to 10 p.m. So I think any normal human being should be able to fit their working schedule into those hours. So a quick uh, review. You guys see they have most of the machines. They have this multifunctional gym right here. And they also have barbells. Super good. And then we can do some pull-up bars over here actually. Excited! 
Good workout session definitely consists of warming up. I've been walking 11,000 steps today, so I'm gonna skip it today, but whenever you're working out, make sure to have at least five minutes on the treadmill. Today is a back day for me, so we're going all in on the back. just called us from the reception. They have gifts for us. Ah, perfect. Wow. Yeah, perfect. They even said it's food related, which is perfect after a workout. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm about to cook. I know, but maybe we can have it as supplements. Let's see. Let's check. We need to chill these right away. So. Oh yeah. And then what is this, this is from the marketing team. Mm. Yay. Let's check it this out. It's probably sub, no? I don't know. Sub. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see what it is. Oh wow. What's this? Whoa. I think this is chocolate. Wow. From I the don't Ascot know. Limited. Wow. And then we got new They're notebook. so professional here. Like Wow. Even when we stayed with them last time, it was like, yawn. I can't believe it. Ooh. We, we got some nice eco bags. Yeah, okay. we love eco bags. Wait, okay, not. Oh. Thank you so Thank much, you so marketing much, team. Guys. You guys rule. And Sita Dean, Salcedo for the snacks. Wow. Oh. So thankful for this. And I'm gonna have a protein bar now because I just came from the gym and then Avi's gonna be cooking. We have some wine. Putting this kombucha chill for my hangover tomorrow. <laughs> You know you're already gonna be hungover. All right, I'm gonna shower and switch into a nice outfit. Ta-da! This relationship, Ava is responsible for all the cooking because she's professional. Wow. Uh, my job as a sommelier is to pour the wine. It's an example of what you can achieve. It's a fully equipped kitchen. Avi is able to cook just as if we were at home. I love it. Oh my god. And we like really went all in on buying like healthy ingredients. Thank you so much, Ava. Welcome! Sobra! Sobra! <laughs> in Salcedo is the Paseo Center where you can find different restaurants on the affordable and middle budget. Mm. They also have a supermarket here. We're gonna buy some stuff here later. Because we're having a dinner guest over tonight. Okay. 
for today's lunch, we're checking out Las Flores. I've never eaten here before. It's paellas. seated now at this tapas slash paella restaurant called Las Flores. They have the biggest mango shake that I think I've ever been served here in the Philippines. Really? <laughs> yeah. Usually they come in small mugs. This is like, look at that, size of that. <laughs> well, so far I'm very very impressed about the different type of food options surrounding Citadines, Salcedo, Makati Hotel. I also got to point out that this is my first time ever trying to live here in Makati. I'm kind of liking it, man. I'm digging it. It has a total different vibe than what you would find, for example, in BGC. Yeah, it seems to be a lot more boutique restaurants here, not just the big and normal chains that we're used to. Also, since there's a lot of offices here, food options, especially for lunch, are really, really good. The first dish we ordered is a chicken. That looks really My good. My favorite part. Your chicken leg is the yeah. favorite part for Ava. In this relationship. You can, have, you can have all of the chicken. Okay, but you just want the chicken leg. All right. Mixing our paella. This paella was really good. Yeah! Walking in the park. The park. Yes, it's so green. It's so it's important. It's like Singapore. It's like Singapore, <laughs> man. It's so important that they make these parks so that in the city, I think Manila could need a lot more yeah. of them, to be 100% honest. But it is really nice when you have the ability to just walk under the trees yeah. in the middle of the city like this. It's a nice place to walk yeah. after eating a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. There's like even a children's playground there. Pretty nice. Should we go back to the hotel? Let's go. Whee! Oh, perfect! Whoa! <laughs> it's been reserved. Not bad, man. I love that the pool is on the ninth floor because the buildings around us are not that high, so it kind of feels like you have more air. There's about 10 sun beds here, a jacuzzi, large lap pool. Oh, so refreshing. Yeah! All right, guys, we have come home to a completely clean apartment. And we are setting up and getting ready for Ava's best friend to arrive for dinner. So it's three tonight. And Ava, the chef, is cooking up amazing things as always. Just look at this salad she made. It even has avocado. Over here, she is cooking the beef. The steak, yeah. Mmm. Oh my god, she even made potatoes. Mm -mm. It's gonna be delicious. delicious. So yeah. Guys, Antea is here and we've had dinner. Got to vlog. Before Martin, there's her. Yeah. 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 Me and yeah. Martin. <laughs> but now we're gonna go and watch the light show. Yes. What's the name of the place where it's at? Ayala Triangle. Yeah. Ayala Triangle. Okay. So there's a Christmas light show. So unfortunately here in Manila, there is no subway, but they're working on these underpasses that at least allows you to skip the big highways. This one is brand new. It's leading to the light show. Welcome to Ayala Triangle Light Show. Thank you. So this is something that Filipinos are very excited about. It's open from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Check it out! Young Light Show Mo! the 
Filipino Christmas market. There's stands. Kind of reminds me of Norway when we got married, if you haven't seen the vlog yet. This is exactly what it was like. Different stands where you can buy. Here you can buy Nutella. Here you can buy bread. It's like pandasal. Ooh, look at that. This is so nice. So nice. Yeah. Wow, guys. Salcedo has really surprised me on our stay here. I think this Christmas market is just topping it off. It's nice to experience it with Ava and Antea. See the light show. Hope they do that every year from now on. But we're heading back to the hotel. It's our last night. See you in the morning. Bye bye. Yeah! Good morning, everyone. Yesterday was an amazing time with Ava's friend. So nice to catch up with Antea. Today, before we leave, they were uh, very nice to us. We got a late checkout. And actually, from my window here, if I look straight down, I can see the shop that's called 24 Hour Chicken. It's a place that when we've been staying here, we've been seeing that it's packed every day. <laughs> so we decided to give it a try. Uh, we bought their like sharing combo pack. I made the, I made the uh, gravy from wow. scratch. <laughs> And we're having like one last meal to finish up what's left, yeah, over, left over and also to try this chicken. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember that there is a playlist called Marva Vlogs. It contains all the video vlogs that Ava and me have made together. And I think it's a fun playlist for some of you to watch. Maybe this was the first time you watched us two as vloggers. So we welcome you to subscribe to the channel and follow along for the adventure. We have so many cool things planned for 2023. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.